Hi guys, welcome to another episode of World of Truck. This is your European version, Euro Truck Simulator 2. And I'm still driving this Volvo because I think it's one of the more powerful trucks uh, in the entire game. The only downside is that I can't really get a uh, custom paint job because I've purchased quite a number of paint jobs. But uh, for some reason unknown to me, I just can't get that into my truck. Now I am playing this like a uh, Vivi La France, uh, the French continent um, car for like DLC. And I'm picking up a job that would allow me to um, sort of like, you know, travel from somewhere in uh, Bordeaux to somewhere in, I think it was uh, a job that, oops, uh, a job that would be somewhere in, uh, in this in here, I think, Lille, whatever it is. I hope I get it right. So I'm just going to get a job right now and now. So what I need to do is that um, I need to go and pick up the cargo uh, with my trailer. This is going to be one of the one of the uh, pretty large kind of mobile uh, crane. So it's uh, one of the oversized uh, cargo as well. So um, it will be a true test of my trucking skill in some sense. And I'll turn off the camera just for you to have a full immersion. Uh, but I will try to comment as I play along. Uh, I'll see whether I can, uh, you know, get the entire distance for you uh, through one video. Otherwise, uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So I hope you enjoy the uh, the video. So welcome back. I am somewhere in the city of Bordeaux and um, I just need to get into a little bit of a uh, row here, pick up a truck which I have, uh, pick up a cargo which I've never been this place before, next to Ikea. Uh, Alright, so I've just rested. Time now is about 4 a.m. Uh, there you go. Okay, let me just get things sorted and uh, we are off to go. Oops, uh, I think. I think I need to reverse out if I'm not wrong. <laughs> I haven't been playing this for a while, so um, wish me luck. Quiet though, I mean, 4.30 a.m. Rob out. Living town. So I suppose it's the highway. And I am approaching a roundabout, need to turn right in front. So city area is 50 km per hour, I think. <laughs> Not familiar with the road in front, of course. Uh, there's a road work in front, so... Oh, wait, hang on a second. I need to turn in here, is it? Wow. It could well be, though. Like I said, it's my first time coming to here. A little bit of off-road. Oh, this is exciting. Um... So, the trailer is in front over there. And I'll need to... Pull this one. Okay. Oh. 
Well, that's not really straight, is it? Alright, so that counts as well. Okay, so what usually I'll do is to take a look at the... Let me off the engine. <laughs> this is beautiful, isn't it? Um, I need to pull this guy out to to France, uh, to somewhere. Let, let's review the map as well. So I need to sort of like get on to a few places um, along the highway A10 uh, all the way up. Some petrol station. Um, it's always good to know. Then turn right into Wells, continuing the A10. And then A104, A4, passing to Paris, and then go up A26 into a Lille. All right, so uh, what I'll do is that uh, I'm going to take some screenshot here because I, I just like to, you know, every trip I, I sort of like to uh, get some memory where things are. And I'll just continue uh, playing the, uh, well, you know, trucking this guy up. For you guys see. So welcome back. Guess what? I have to make a U-turn, <laughs> and it wasn't pretty. I have to use all the space I have, but uh, I'm quite glad that I've got it sorted. Uh, so with that said, let's just continue the journey. Now, how heavy this guy, right? Is about 55 tons. So it's rather heavy, actually. And I hope I will not be uh, doing anything stupid here. Uh, we shall see. This is going to take a while, I think. Uh, Well, this guy is heavy, man. I can feel it. Well, look at the bright side. The sun is rising. Uh, definitely is a pretty sight. Well, there's a car on my back. Okay, I think this is fine. There's a truck overtaking me. Um, definitely, I'm feeling the uh, the weight for sure. I'm struggling to <laughs> to reach ninety right now. Okay, next uh, next stop, I need to I think continue straight. Um, oh, it's pretty glaring. I'm wondering if I need to keep... <laughs> Last minute change, uh, I think that was fine. 
I think I shall keep to this lane because the other one is to exit, I think. So what you are seeing here is the uh, new kind of expansion, the France one, Vivi La France. Okay, so I think this lane is fine. So I'm going into a uh, toe. I just make sure I don't get stuck somewhere here because, uh, you know, the cargo is quite wide. Someone need to give way to me. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling very slow here. <laughs> ah, all right, six thirty a.m. Uh, gas station on the right, but I think I'm fine. Fine, you win. So now what I need to watch out for, and because I play this simulation uh, for quite some time, is that um, this truck will try to turn back into this lane. So I would not it would not be advisable to do the undercut because sometimes they'll just bang right on the me. It's just I don't know how they code it, but um, but it's just one of those things that they are not aware that I'm on the on the right, and um, I, it happens to me a couple of times when I'm doing the undercut because they are they're a little bit too slow on the fast lane. Um, they just come right at me, so I'm just a little bit cautious here. Definitely. So my advice is that if you like to overtake this truck, you have to go to the faster lane and hope that they will come back to the slower lane. Just how it works. Um, yeah, I'm just a little bit worried here. Because um, cause there's a high chance that they will just come, come onto this lane, so I better give him some space. Well, in any case, they are not incredibly slow, so I could just um, do it here. Like, um, hmm, very strange. Yeah, I, I guess they, they have probably, like, you know, programmed such a way that at a certain junction they would turn, keep right, and uh, exit the highway. So, but that's just how the, how the game goes.
Alright, a car coming up. Um, that should be fine. They go quite fast. <laughs> I think the speed limit is 130 km per hour. Let's see, I told you. They'll just like come back to me right now here. Um, so I think they're just waiting for that safe space to cut back in. Um, but sometimes they'll just, you know, anyhow come, come onto my side. So I'm thinking whether I should overtake or not. Uh, it's going to be a long highway. Um, if I'm my Tam, it will probably be. Nah, I don't think it's possible. I think I'm going a little bit up slope right now because I'm losing quite a fair bit of speed. I don't know how the truck in front can do it. Alright, petrol on the right, and uh, I may need to make a stop somewhere, um, probably in, uh, in uh, well, you know, probably I could do it towards the end, I think. I doubt the petrol is going to last until then, but we shall see. So this is south of France, uh, moving up to Paris. Journey is still uh, another 12 more hours to go. If you notice, the uh, ETA was about 15 hours, so I've covered probably like, I don't know, one sixth of that, maybe 17% of the journey. So I probably would need to keep to the right, left, I mean, um, yeah, the road sign could be a little bit confusing. I'm not quite sure if it is a turn right only car lane. It looks as though it is, isn't it? Well, there's a traffic jam here right now. Right, he's getting out of the way. Yay! It's an open row in front of me. So 8.30 in the morning and uh, I have to, oops sorry, I have to uh, rest in about 7 hours time so that would put me to somewhere like the, oh, I'm losing speed, uh, 7 hours time so probably 3 p.m. I have to find a stop somewhere or before that 2 p.m. Um, so after resting it will be midnight and uh, it will be a night drive or I could like have a double rest and wake up fresh in the morning and I think probably that is the way to go.
Yeah, it's just a very nice like a road to drive. Um, there's no no stress. A very wide highway. Um, there, there aren't a lot of small roads. I, I remember when I was playing the American version, there are some roads that are quite tiny. And if your cargo is a little bit big and wide like this one here, it probably quite a lot of stress trying to get through the small towns and all. But this is kind of nice, just highway. La Mans, uh, I think that's where all the racing car is. Um, there's a La Mans 24 hours racing for those who follow motor motorsport. There are some, I don't know, is it like a reservoir, like for water or water tanks or I don't know, what are these things for, man? Oh, by the way, the new Mexico, uh, Mexico uh, DLC is soon to be out for the American version. So I'm definitely going back to the American version once that um, is out because I, I still like the American version a lot. It is very much like the uh, Vivi La France kind of like phones, this uh, expansion. The asset looks really, really good. But the, uh, I mean, I, I do drive European version, but uh, it seems to me that the European version has multiple kind of uh, version to it. Uh, the central kind of Europe plus Greater Britain. Um, the roads are kind of, uh, you know, how, how would I put it? I mean, it's not as uh, richly done up like, say, the, the Sweden side, which is the you know, major expansion, and also the France side, which is beautiful, this part. So I need to adjust my mirror right now. I don't think I need that many mirror. Um, yep. So I was wondering why is there a mirror on that side, on the left hand side? So another 10 more hours to go. So I've completed about one third of the journey as of now. Um, I think real time wise, I don't know how long it takes for those that across the multiple European countries. The entire trip can could take you know an hour or two or more in real life so yeah it's you know you, you feel kind of accomplished once you can reach the destination and i'm trying to get more money because i want to buy more garages especially in france at least that's my goal so i'm heading towards paris Three lanes highway. Wow, this looks really wide, by the way. Right hand side is exit to La Mon and La. I don't know how to pronounce it, man. Is there a mini in front? I think it's like a mini. So I'm, I think I'm just going to pick up some uh, petrol here. Um, because I'm a bit concerned if I don't.
Oh, there's a car behind me, actually. Holding my breath, actually. Believe it or not. Okay, let me just uh, get the petrol up. Seven hundred and seventy eight pound. Now, I have a decision to make. Uh, I need to rest in about four hours time. But uh, since I'm here, um, I could actually rest here as well, I suppose. And then I don't need to worry about finding another rest stop somewhere. I mean, that's not really a penalty if I took in too much rest. Because the uh, World of Truck contact, uh, co contract is by, uh, by the... How should I say? The World of Trust contract is by real-time hour. So I'm going to take a rest here. Uh, and the next bit of the video is to continue the journey. All right. So welcome back. And guess what? It rains. Yay. I can demonstrate some kind of like a rain driving. And also a little bit of um, night driving as well. Why not, right? Oh, there's a truck there. Wait, hang on a second, let me just on the wiper. Okay. Ooh. So now I'm back on track, sort of, all filled up and the, um, oops, sorry, <laughs> my, my, my fat finger <laughs> and the controller. So I should be enough uh, to, to reach the destination uh, in terms of my kind of like, you know, I can drive for another 10 hours. I think according to law, after you rest, you could drive for 11 hours. So the trip is estimated to complete in about 8 hours time, so I think everything should be fine. And there will be a little bit of rain, a little bit of night driving, a little bit of excitement here and there. Well, you can't really see uh, you know, what's out there though. It's probably one of the uh, drawbacks of night driving. But uh, I mean, the good thing about it is, you know, every time when you drive through the content, um, the assets, they call it, uh, you see different thing, uh, be as different lighting, different kind of weather conditions and stuff like that. Uh, just to make the simulation or the game more engaging, more replayable. Because every time you play it, it's kind of a little bit different. Um, yeah. It's nice that, nice that I can show you some kind of rain. Yeah, I'm trying to look ahead what's, uh, what's going to happen. I think there's a toll station somewhere, but uh, I think that's not really... Only for those who are joining the highway, I think.
Yeah, I think right now it's the best. It's not exactly pitch dark yet. Although time now is about 9 p.m. I think in Europe, uh, the sunset is a little bit different from the rest of the world, maybe like in America. Um, so you can still see a little bit of like silhouette of what's out there with a bit of lightning as well to, to sort of like to see the scenery. But uh, there, it will come a time, point, point in time whereby it's pitch dark. So I think I'll just record until, um, <laughs> until you can't see anything. And then after that, um, well, unless you guys want to fall asleep while watching this video. And sometimes I do though, um, you know, when, when I'm just like having lunch by myself and I would like, you know, just sometimes watch my video, especially this type of video. And I do find a little bit like, um, you know, therapeutic when I watch this. I feel like, I feel like falling asleep. Huh? <laughs> and then I could have an afternoon nap, like watch my own video. So now is the um, where I need to pay the toll. I guess how much that would be. Oh wow, hang on a sec. <laughs> I stopped too too early. Hundred and ninety eight pound or euro actually, not pound. That's quite a fair bit. Wow. Just to use a highway, huh? Still a three-lane highway towards Paris. I think I should just stay in the middle because it could be a... Uh... No, hang on a second. I need to actually hang on. I'm a little bit confused right now here. Sorry, guys. I think I'll need to exit to uh, A105 if I'm not wrong. I remember. 104, sorry. Okay, so this is going to be a quite a long highway towards Paris um, and I will bypass Paris, I will not be stopping by into Lille. Yeah, I'm losing speed. This is going uphill, I think. Yeah, I think ninth gear is about right. I need to exit from here, I think.
Yeah, a bit cautious here because I don't know how my truck will behave if I, you know, go a bit too fast at the corner there. Um, so yeah, just on the cautious side. I think I could uh, turn back here, I guess. Um, Okay, okay, so I need to, uh, this is not, I need to go back to the middle, I think. Whatever it is, it was French. <laughs> I'm not quite understand what they said. Oh, it could mean that it's a service station, I think. Yeah. So I think, looking back, I could have uh, sort of uh, rested here instead. Um, but that's fine, no worries. It looks like there's a pan in front. There's a lot of exit here. Yeah, I'm holding my breath. Um, I would need to exit here again. Um, a lot of uh, interaction. And. Um, hmm. Okay, merging into another highway, and I need to. I think that there's sort of like there's a different dotted line on the in the on the road, mean different things. Maybe I should keep keep on here, huh? Forgot to change gear. <laughs> All right, I think it's the toll station in front again. Uh, in another four hours time, I reach the destination. I think I can off the wind wiper. No more rain. Good. Okay, um, so now things are settling down another four hour, four more hours to go. Uh, 
that could be like you know, 20 minutes of real life time I think So now it's rather pitch dark already, midnight, and uh, I think I think what I'll do is that I'll pause the recording, and uh, when I'm closer to my destination, and I resume the uh, the recording and show you a little bit of the town if I can see it. I think I think by then it'll be like maybe 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think um, yeah, I'm just getting a little bit distracted. Um, Maybe after the toll, then I'll off the recording. There's a road sign in front. I can't really see what it is until I'm closer, I think. Or oh, just do a warning sign on turn, sharp right turn. So let's find out how much it cost uh, to to travel in uh, in France uh, as a truck, and there's a guy in front. Twenty seven pound. Uh, sorry, euro. That's rather cheap. All right, so I will just stop recording here, and uh, I'll I'll come back to you when I'm closer to the to the destination. All right. So welcome back, and I am. Uh, you can see Lil at the highway exit, so I'm exiting the highway to Lil. Um, been a really wonderful journey. It's uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, and it seems that the the light is already coming up. Uh, it's interesting in Europe. Yep, I'm all ready for my cup of hot coffee, some sandwich maybe, ham and cheese. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, uh, I think, yeah, I don't know what the truckers usually eat. But yeah, it's been a rather long journey. Another 50 more minutes and I should be seeing my destination pretty fast. Soon. You can see the light coming up uh, in the distance. 3.30 a.m. in the morning. Wow, the sun does rise early in this part of the world. Forty-one minute. Uh, so that is incredibly, incredibly close. Well, I can see a construction on my right hand side. I think I may need to. Yeah, I'm just trying to see whether this lane is good, and it is good. Don't know how to get, <laughs> get a ticket here. Um, well, it's just at that particular section that is 70 km per hour. Strange. Alright, I can see it. Um, I think I can buy a garage here as well, which I will, because I think I have enough cash right now, 300, 400,000. I think after the, uh, it'll be like 450,000, I think. Um, that'll be just nice for a garage. And I can expand my company, the Red Panda United. just getting extremely careful here because the wall tend to you know get the get the thing stuck some, sometimes but well, there's a left turn later here Wow, this is beautiful. Then you turn right uh, somewhere. A 
Okay, and I'll be uh, the building is on my right hand side. Oh, this is nice, man. Ooh, I like it. Oops. I hope it's nothing too crazy in terms of parking wise. Um, Alright, so it doesn't seem too crazy. So I'll just turn in here first. Now I'll just reverse my, my way into this lot here. Um, so yeah, thank you so very much for watching. And uh, I'll, I'll just do an ending screen later uh, once I get it sorted, the parking wise. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to park, it's just like right straight to here. Um, just how many attempts it will be. So here's the parking I've got, uh, not the most prettiest one, but it's the one that uh, can't as a win. So I'm just going to pull my handbrake here. Um, well, it took me a few attempts though, because reversing to the long vehicle like this one is actually rather, rather challenging. Uh, but that's fine, um, it's, it's done. I've got a bonus. And let's see the screen here. So I've done, ooh, I've got achievement. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Uh, so I've got uh, about 1,000 kilometer. Um, took about one and a half hours to do it. And um, and I've got a bit of uh, XP there. Just a little bit more I can reach level 28. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy your trucking as well. Uh, it's a fantastic game. And I'm more, more than happy to sort of like explore this place a little bit because I think I think somewhere here there's a garage and um, garage for sale. So definitely I'm going to get a garage in nil. Um, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Probably f hire some French trucker. Alright, see you next time. Goodbye.